everybody, I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to another new episode of VO Buzz Weekly. That's right, and guess what we have today? Part, Part two, two with Thompson Coleman. Coleman. Let's go there now. <laughs> so so what, what's your setup at home? Uh, let's let people know what the awesome Townsend Coleman uses. What are your secret toys? <laughs> what are the toys that help you book all those jobs? Uh, okay, let, let me tell you. I mean, it's embarrassing if I if I showed you a picture of my setup. <laughs> you just like don't <laughs> say. <laughs> we should not do an invasion of his home. Don't say no, no, a no, Yeti you Pro and a Garage <laughs> Band. Yeah, no, it's 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 a little step up from there, but it uh, literally is in my closet. And it's still my closet. You know, it's not a, a studio that I've built or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's it's a really fine little functional studio uh, that works great for me. And I, I I have a big iMac that I read everything off of. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I haven't printed out a script in ages. <laughs> wow. Um, I use a four sixteen, mm -hmm. and I have the TC Electronic a Gold Channel for my mic pre. Okay. Yeah, and then an ISDN box. I mean, that is basically it. Wow. Yeah. Pretty you know. simple. And I, and I have a large diaphragm too, but I don't have like something big and fancy like that. I've mm -hmm. got a blue uh, a baby bottle, right? Um, which is a great sounding mic, but I never I never use it. I always use the 416. Yeah. And yeah, you why? take it with you when you go. I take it with me so when I go. The one time yeah. in every 10 years you leave town. But right, you right. That's what you and take when I do leave town, I'll take my, my MacBook Pro and mm -hmm. yeah. the, the 416 and a little Shure, you know, USB yeah. adapter. Sure. Buzzer. It's a perfect setup. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Awesome. And uh, why do you, do? because you, you've tried other mics, right? Mm -hmm. why, why, do you, why do you think the 416, Reason why we ask is we're endorsed by Norman Sen Sennheiser yeah. and everything that we use here is Norman yeah. Sennheiser. Oh, okay. But, so uh, why do you use that Sennheiser we're microphone fans. at 416? <laughs> you know, Chuck, years ago I started. They started putting them in studios, and over at LA Studios, uh, the first time I worked on one, and I opened my mouth, it was it just had this yeah this this punch, and I could like work it close because yeah. that's the thing. Uh, it's the whole. Setup is a real psychological thing to me, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's like I've used headphones for so many years that try and work without headphones. Yeah. You know, and I know a lot of coaches and teachers right. say, you know, you should, and I, I just can't. And I'm what they call left-lipped, so I've got to have the mic right here. Mm. If I, if it's over here, it freaks you it out. Freaks you out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's, you know, a lot of times they'll have them like up here, five feet away. And I feel like I'm reaching to just. Can you hear me? Um, yeah. But the 416 yeah. just from the get go has always had this great sound. So yeah. when I bought my first mic, that was the one that I bought because I realized because it's so directional and you can use it far away, but you can also work it really close. Mm -hmm. I learned how to work this thing and get all kinds of different sounds yeah. on it from here to here to, you know, if, or, it doesn't matter, this yeah. thing, and it's bulletproof. It it's is. really hard to mm -hmm. pop. Yeah. So I, I fell in love with it early on and it just became the That's only fantastic, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely one of my Absolutely. favorite mics as yeah. well. Um, and it's easy to travel with. And it's easy True. to travel with, and yeah. it's and not that expensive, right? It's not that expensive. Yeah. Like I mean, a grand yeah, or grand or, or, or less. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, great, great microphone for promos and trailers, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, and going through airport security is always fun because it, it doesn't look like a gun barrel. Or yeah, you're anything. like, oh, this is my shotgun mic. <laughs> mic. <laughs> yeah. Mic. Exactly. <laughs> Recording device. Leave the shotgun word out of it. Yeah. Uh, so, Townsend, out of the projects that you've done, Say to date, what are you? What are some that you're most proud of, or that are most meaningful to you? Well, I, you know, it sort of depends on the genre. But I mean, right. really proud of the you know time I I, I was able to spend at NBC all those mm -hmm. years. Yeah. Um, super proud of that, you know, and especially given the fact that my parents met working at NBC, I so know. it had this sort of like weird sort of full circle thing. Um, Loved, loved, loved that and the people that I worked with there. Um, the animation uh, that I've done and all the shows that I've done, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm proud of them all, but you know, I love, love Michelangelo uh, on TMNT and The Tick was one of my favorite characters yeah, to do. Yeah, big show. Yeah. The writing on that was just so hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the, the sort of iconic things that I've done, like the Seven Up Dot, you know. Yes, it's we were going to ask you yeah. about that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, so to be able to, you know, kind of look back over the years and see these, you know, the NBC Peacock or, you know, mm -hmm. Michelangelo or the, you know, the Seven Up Dot or whatever and, yeah. and, and go, God, I was a part of that. Yeah. Um, 
really, just really thankful and really proud of that. Yeah, I'm also, you really know, cool. uh, you also had mentioned up at the top um, Adventures in Odyssey. Yeah. yeah, it's a radio drama that I've been doing now mm -hmm. for, gosh, about. Um, like 20 well, years. 19, almost going on 20 years, yeah, yeah for yeah. me. I mean, uh, yeah. they're going to celebrate, I think, their 25th anniversary next year. Wow. And I love the people that put that show together. Mm -hmm. um, really thankful for being a part of that. You know, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great message, and it's also an amazing production. Mm -hmm. um, work with some great people, yeah. uh, not the least of which is our buddy Jess. Yep. Yeah. Uh, over the years, he's hilarious on that. Well, he's hilarious on everything. Yeah. He's, he's hilarious. He's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Adventures in Odyssey has uh, been great. Uh, he, uh, you know, I'm 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 just really proud of the work that I've done, and really thankful for all the work that I've been yeah. able to yeah. be part of. Yeah, that's what we thought you'd say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we like asking questions or tester questions. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. To make sure you're actually in like, tune. See if you're gonna I, pick up. Pick make up sure that you're lead. actually cool, and that we didn't just think you were cool. <laughs> right, because if I didn't say that, you would have corrected. Me. Of course. Right. Um, <laughs> actually, what you meant to say yeah. was, right. <laughs> um, what do you think are your strengths as a voice actor? Um, I'm, I'm quick. Mm -hmm. um, I think I can get to the point quickly, you know, and kind of whether it's uh, uh, animation or, or whatever, I think I can pick up on that pretty quickly. Although, as much animation as I've done, that's that's not really my strength. I mean, you've got people like Jess and, you know, Jim Cummings and Maurice LaMarche and Rob Paulson, my gosh, uh, Steve Bloom, these guys who yeah. are monsters in, in that arena. Um, Yes, who 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 really rule that realm? Yeah. Um, but I but I think I, I I get things quick. I'm I'm a good read on copy quickly. But I think probably my strength is promo, which mm -hmm. is why it's sort of pretty much sort of most of what I you. do. Yeah. Because you know? now your ABC comedies. Yeah. yeah. So I've been um, I've been doing uh, some stuff for ABC for the last couple of years mm -hmm. uh, for a lot of stuff for ABC Family. Yep. Um, for the hub, and yep. I know you're the in-show announcer on uh, family, family game night. Game night, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've done some promos for that, yeah. but done a lot of. And what's fun about doing stuff for the hub has been they have me do they have me do characters. They let me sort of go over the top, and you know, mm -hmm. it's not just straight ahead promo yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I do the um, daily promos for live with Kelly and Michael, and mm -hmm. you know, really cool. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's, yeah. A, it's a steady diet. And my personal favorite, stuff. Judge Judy. Judge <laughs> Judy, right? I've been doing their radio <laughs> spots now. That that's she'll a hold you in contempt if you don't mention her. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, and that's a gig that's been going for. Yeah. I'm gonna say, gosh, probably 15 or 20 years. My goodness, he's gracious. like the king of the double digits, everyone. Yeah, man. I mean, it's like God. <laughs> I just keep, I just try and keep my head down and say, gosh, oh. I yeah. love um, it. Very funny. It says so much about you, though. I mean, you are someone that people want to have around. Yeah, yeah that's say. why I mean, this interview is not going to end. Yeah, this Ever. is. A, we want you to be here all the time. We're gonna do a month of Townsend. That's it. <laughs> Video Buzz Weekly is now about three people. Yeah. Him, him, and him. Uh, so your strengths are that you take direction really well. You're quick. You you know you just you you, you get it, and you feel that promo is probably your bigger strength of understanding. You know, the feel and and the style and all that stuff. Right? Is that what you were saying? Right. Promo stuff that I feel like I could just you know fall out of bed. You know, exactly. Doing my sleep. Yeah. Well, um, let me ask you this because I mean, with you, this might be a little difficult because things. Seem to fall on your lap so yeah. much, but <laughs> that's why. That's why I try to always sit down. Yeah, Townsend exactly. Townsend has no work exactly. ethic because he doesn't sit down need a lot to. so that things can fall on your lap. That is a great advice, right there. Remember that's that. That's why he Remember showed up that. with a basket. And yeah, right. were uh, just watch yourself all the time. Better chances of something falling on my lap. Very good. <laughs> Without a lap, it can't happen. No, man. So, so <laughs> there, there's, man, there are people out there. It's funny. She's really going for it right now. There's a lot of people out there, man, that you know are oh. trying really, really hard to, you know, maybe break into the business from a the perspective of somebody who works in promo every day. If a, a buddy of yours came up to you who really wanted to get into promos mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give him to set him off on the right track? Or her. Or, or her. her. Or her. Um, well, I would say, first of all, uh, do you have an agent? I mean, because I think you still need a good agent to get you, you know, th into the right people. Right. And get you up to the top. Now, there's a lot of promo work. There's a lot of non-union promo work. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of non-union stuff, period, going yes. on now. Um, 
you know, and that's that's a whole other issue. You know, yeah. Union versus That'll be union. part three of right. this interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, that's a whole thing. But I would say uh, get a get a good agent, have a great demo. Um, I why'd mean, you Why'd you go like well, this? Well, because you're the when guy you who demo. puts together these oh, incredible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, all of a sudden, it's like you know, I'm getting like that nanu nanu kind of thing. He's, like, <laughs> he's putting it in your laptop. <laughs> I see the lap. It's Thank in your you. lap. That was very, that demo, very nice of you. Demo. It's yes. true story. Rock. It's a true story. Thank but you, you but you, you know how important that is to yes. have a really great sounding mm -hmm. demo. Uh, that cuts through and and gets you, you know. In, so you got to have an agent who can get that great demo in front of the right people who are making the decisions who are going to hire you. you yeah, know? absolutely. I think those are the, probably the two most important things. Now, in terms of, in terms of, uh, like working on your chops yeah. and stuff. Um, taking uh, taking their workshops uh, that you can do, but but listen, listen to what you hear on the air yeah. and 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 copy it. You know, because yeah. because you, you can try and rip somebody off, but you're never going to be them. You're always no. going to be you. Yeah. you know, it's right. like when I started at NBC, it was, I sat down in that chair, and I'm telling you, when I put those headphones on, <laughs> I, all I could hear when I said the letters NBC was Danny Dark in my head. Mm -hmm. I was, that was so drilled into my head for so many years that for those you know first couple of months, that's all I could hear. And it was a real chore to try and get that out of my head and... and Try and make it my yeah. own. Yeah, and that's the thing is you've got to, you know, listen to what's out there. Go ahead and 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 mimic, copy, plagiarize if you have to. But but you're not going to be taking their work. You're going to be taking what you're hearing works. Yeah, they're and making it yeah. right. Your right. Own. Their storytelling, their nuance, yeah. their expression, their timing, right? their, their timing, tone, their yeah. Tone. yeah, yeah, and um, and all and all the different levels of promo. When I say levels, I mean um, uh, different sort of niches of promo, whether it's comedy or drama mm -hmm. or reality, mm -hmm. um, all have very different sounds yes. and different yes. feels. So, it, you know, it's what you're trying to identify what your sound is and yeah. what your voice is and what you're going to be most suited for. Yeah, you know? that is I don't great. Do, I don't do drama. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, really, never have. really, you don't because why? You're just not a dramatic guy. Well, it's yeah, <laughs> no, it, it's, it's not that. It's, I don't really have the voice for it. You know? Really? And, yeah, you have an I, awesome voice, dude. Well, I think um, you could totally. <laughs> let's hear a little drama. Well, maybe I could. Maybe I'll come in and, <laughs> yeah. and you'll you'll do a drama yeah. demo for me. And <laughs> oh, start doing, oh, he'll find your. He'll yeah. find then that Jeff will bottom be like, yeah. I never knew you could do this. <laughs> <laughs> um, crazy. Um, but but really really great advice. Yes. And, and I, I well, always... because I think it's important for people to know that you say promo, but there are so many different lanes of yeah, promo. Yeah, exactly. They're not the same, and you can't just be across the board. That's why when you do demos, you you really d dissect what is this person's areas of strength, and then you put promos on there that yeah. embody that. Right. Otherwise, because yeah. Yeah, you can't do everything. No. Yeah, but no. what, I w what, what you just said was really cool, and I want everybody to kind of really get this, because I actually tell people this all the time, because I have a music background, you know? Right. And it's like, when I was a little kid, and I was learning how to play guitar, what did I do? Or what does anybody do when they're learning how to play an instrument? Or you, singing? You listen you to records, you, you listen to who's out there. Yes, yeah. and then all of a sudden, you begin to have people that you just admire a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to, and you learn all their stylistically, everything that they do, how they sing, how they play those notes, and, wah, 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 exactly. and all this stuff, and you copy them. Right. And then all of a sudden, a few years down the road, you have all of this expression from all these different great people that now you can utilize and become your own, and your own style emerges. Exactly. And that is brilliant. Yeah, yeah, because what you'll, because your soul, your being, your personality is what's going to end up percolating up Absolutely. and bubbling and through and coming out you. in your guitar yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or your drumming or your promo work, whatever your voice work. Exactly, is. exactly. So, yeah. yes, take workshops. Yes, go and find a coach to teach you this, but definitely do what Townsend just said because that is ultimately what's going to make you really, really great, really, really fast. And yeah. see, what's great about uh, these days, you know, we, we've all like I said, we've all got little studios in our houses, mm -hmm. you know, with a laptop and a mm -hmm. and a Yeti oh, mic. Oh gosh, like yeah. Saying. I mean, it's 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 crazy what we can do now, and and it's just like bang away at it, bang away at it. You know, yeah. if you have to transcribe a promo off the air, exactly. you know, write it down and just yeah. you know mimic yeah. it, make it up. Yeah. yeah. Do you have demos? Do you have demos on your website or anything like that, or on DPN's you know what? website? I, 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 uh, I, he doesn't I really do. have a website. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want anybody to hear him. He doesn't really have a website. No, you, no let me tell you. Oh, he I doesn't have a website. No, that's true. I am so backwards when it comes to all that stuff. I mean, I I don't have a personal website, and all my demos are ancient. Ancient. They are 
ancient. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's, that's because, why to, if Townsend on. was starting his career today, I'd you'd have to over. amp it up a little bit, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> I'd have to step up my game. That's one of the things. I have change. a real to real. So, what? Yeah. So, so, so let me be <laughs> let me be the poster child for how not to do this. Yeah, yeah. But no, 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 no. Because, because, yeah, because, because you've already established a career, and you know, people know who you are. Honestly, I probably could use one now. Just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. Just to have it on my website. Yeah. But um, or get a website and yeah, then yeah, have it on there the you website. go. He needs to buy Townsend Coleman from whoever owns it, so yeah. you give him a good deal on that, and then he can. I don't think anybody right else has that name, anyways. <laughs> some yeah, some cyber squatters got it. Someone's buying up on cyber squatter. Yeah. Charge me, you know, yeah. twenty five thousand yeah. dollars for my no, own you know, name. I know who no, your you domain are, man. is going to be fallinyourlap. Com. There yeah. you go. That's your Dude, that's you're that right? teenage ninja mutant dude. Guy, Townsend <laughs> Colson. I know you. Four million Townsman, dollars. Townsman Colson. So, Townsend, if you were giving advice to your 20 year old self, what would you tell him? Um, I, I, I would tell him, dude, the dreams that you think you have are real. Don't discount them. And keep them alive and keep doing whatever you have to do to pursue that dream. Don't let it. it die. I love it. Don't let it die. Because I think because I think too many people do. You know, they oh, have dreams absolutely. and then they, yes. they get talked out of it one way or another by yeah. family or spouses or, or themselves. You know, yeah. or even themselves, you know, yeah. they go, nah, it's too big. Yeah. It's too big. I could never yeah. Yeah. everything right. has a cause I and love effect. That. If you do something, there's an effect. If you don't do something, mm. there's an effect. Yeah, right. So yeah. Uh, and you took some chances there uh, in the beginning and just, you know, just said, I'm going for it. Yeah. So I, I know. And, and now as an adult and watching my own kids, I, you know, I sometimes think about, well, you know, maybe I was a little rash. Maybe I was a little impulsive <laughs> back then. And, you know, moving with a wife and three kids to Los Angeles with like virtually no dough and not knowing anybody and no job. Um, at the age of 30. At the age of 30, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds a little um, irresponsible, maybe. Yeah. But, I mean, what really would be the worst that could happen? It's not like you would... The you would have let your family live on the street. I mean, you would have figured it out. But I mean, sure, that would have been the worst. The worst. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, not no, but you know what I mean. It's not like you couldn't have gone back to Cleveland. That's or, true. You know, like what was the possible worst thing that could have happened? That's, that's true. Know? I, you know, I probably would have ended up if if it hadn't happened after a number. And you know, I've told uh, any number of friends who have moved out here over the years. It's like. Dude, you can't just come out here and expect it to happen fast. You've yeah. got to give it a couple of years. At mm -hmm. least two mm -hmm. is what I was saying back then. And I would say maybe even more now. Now, I like think it's, just, more, yeah. it's more now. Yeah, you, you, can't, you can't just go out and think it's going to happen quickly and then yeah. get discouraged if it doesn't. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you'll get discouraged, but yeah. you've got to you know, somehow push through yeah. that. What yeah, yeah what will actually happen well, no, is... No, because it can if, take a year or two sometimes to find an agent yeah, for some right. people. So if, you, that if, alone. You, if you have the mindset that it's going to happen fast, it won't. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if you have the mindset that the man, it might take me 10 years, but I don't care, I'm willing to put in the time, it'll happen faster. This is yeah. the mojo, right? Yeah. That's, mojo. That's mojo. mojo. What do you think have been the keys to your success and your career longevity? Mm. I mean, never giving up on your dream, obviously, but what yeah, do you Yeah, never think? giving up, just going for it to begin mm -hmm. with and not giving up on it and um, trying to stay as positive and up as you can, even and in this business, it can be, well, in any business, it can be hard, you know, if it's yeah. not going your way. It can be discouraging and, and disheartening. Um, but I, I think, um, you know, back in those days, we used to see a lot of people and we had this community and that was really important to me. I'm, I'm a real people person like that. So when I'm meeting people one-on-one -on -one and working with them one-on-one, -on -one, um, I, I think I work with people pretty well. I'm easy to work with, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and I, you know, I've got a, I've got a good head on my shoulders. I'm, I'm a quick read, a quick study. And, um, and and I think I can you know one of our one of our biggest uh, jobs is to solve problems is to is to help a producer or a writer you know get what it is they want so mm -hmm. we've got to kind of interpret and and um, and be the the one to figure out oh I know what they're going for right. without them even asking right right you know it's that's a re that's a little element that is hard to define but I think it's really critical because. You know, we have to sort of be on top of it and a step ahead of them to be sure. able to say, "Okay, this is where this needs to go," and and then go there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, 
there's so many little elements. I mean, I, yeah, no, yeah. I know, but that's good. Well, no, man. you brought up community, and and I want to show this picture. You are one of the. This is uh, the primetime voices. <laughs> Ed, you're Thanks to Joe Sip. Joe Sip. Right. He, 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 right he, he, he is the wrangler. We he love him. So is. You're in the picture. You're sitting to the right of Don LaFontaine on, on the ground. And um, you are also on the advisory board for the Don LaFontaine VoiceOver Lab. VoiceOver Lab. And Again, you, thanks to Joseph yeah, and Paul Pig. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you were one of the, the early, I'm going to get involved when you got that call and said, you know, we yeah, need, when, we need to get this going, and you, you know, what was your experience working with Don, knowing Don? Did you? What's your fondest maybe memories of? Well, of him? I remember meeting Don for the first time, being terrified, mm. and uh, and because uh, you thought he was going to pick on you. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a big bully, <laughs> a big deep voice bully. Yeah, and and yeah, take and, you into the limo and. <laughs> work you over. Yeah, and uh, I remember meeting him for the first time, and he couldn't have been nicer. Couldn't mm. have been sweeter. I was like, Ugh. Um, and it turned out, you know, when I was at NBC, and he, he was uh, the drama voice at NBC for so many years, um, and we would overlap, and I remember running in, into him for the first time down there, and it turned out that he was a big fan of The Tick. Mm. Uh, and so okay. that really helped put me at ease around him yeah. and get a, a sense of, you know, who he is and what he's about and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And so the more I got involved in promo, and I uh, got to know Don, and just you know, of course he was legend, and mm -hmm. you know respected his his work, but his 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 person, and the way he embraced people, and the way he loved people, and the way he wanted to encourage, and the way he did take you know fledgling guys like me around in his limo to kind of show him. The did you did you do that with him? I didn't. You know, he asked me one. I hate to admit this, but he asked me one day, and I was too nervous to go. Wow. I was I was too intimidated. Yeah, you know, early on, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, sort of maybe another time, and right. of course, yeah. another time never came. Right. Maybe that's why well, Paul you're... Pape was saying to Don said that he was not very cool. <laughs> <laughs> That Chuck. he was kind of like totally into himself. Right. On tonight's no, episode right, of right. Troublemaker, yeah, our Troublemaker, guest is Chuck Durant. We have no. um, That's cool, Well, man. but you certainly, I mean, everything you're doing for the lab and the primetime voices, you guys go to the Mattel Children's Hospital at UCLA and you again, guys read to the kids. Yeah, and so again, you again, thanks to are, Joe and Ann Cipriano, yeah. um, put together this, they put together yeah. this thing called uh, yeah, Primetime Voices for Children. Mm -hmm. And we get to go over there to the uh, Mattel Children's Hospital and read to the kids at holiday time. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. And it's that beautiful CD, t the Twas the Night Before Christmas, that yeah. beautiful CD, which I yeah. think you can still get on, can get it on iTunes, I think. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, what is it, 30-some voices of just, it's beautiful. In, yeah, so it's a great piece, gift. Twas yeah. the Night Before Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Which was, a, which was a really um, close to my heart when we did that because I used to read that to my kids every Christmas Aww. Eve, you know, for all the years that, you know. In fact, I read it when I can uh, and have a couple of times read it to my grandkids. Now wow. On Christmas right. Eve, yeah. Yeah. And so, in fact, the year that we did that, I had gotten these recordable books yeah. of Twas the Night Before Christmas mm -hmm. and recorded one for each of my four kids. So Aww, cool. Yeah. Sweet. And so they, with their kids, can each page, you know, hear Grandpa T. Yeah. Gra really Grandpa T. Uh, so, yeah. So, Grandpa T. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, what do what you honey. still What do you still hope to accomplish in your life? Oh my goodness, um, I I, I want to be I continue to be a great dad and a, a great Grandpa T. Uh, actually, those are probably the most important mm. things for me. Um, I'd love to keep working. Just you know, I, I it, it's it's really amazing to me that at my age. Uh, in this business, in this town, that I am still fortunate enough to be working the way I am, and so I'm really thankful for that, and I'd like to keep that going for a while. Um, and uh, accomplish, you know, I'm I'm starting to. Well, you know, I used to do a lot of theater, and the, way, yeah. the reason I came out here was to, yeah. to that, and I'm starting to get back into that now. Ah. So I so I'm sort of seeing maybe kind of turning a little bit of a corner here. That's you cool. Know, I got back on stage last fall, and I just did a show for the Hollywood Fringe Festival. And, um, and can so, we so say I'm, that you got back on stage in stilettos? 
Well, not and only fish stilettos, nets? not only stilettos, but black fish nets. And, uh, wow, a sling- that's a way back. What the heck was that? What kind a of a sling- show are you in? <laughs> a slinky red dress. You didn't yeah. become a stripper. <laughs> no, no, and I didn't even bring my pole with me. So I mean, she left that behind. So the, yeah, but no yeah, oil, yeah, nothing. Yeah, so I, I did. A, it was a Christopher Durang show, and I was playing a psychologist who had to have a sex change. Oh, I love Christopher Durang. Show, so. Such a great. Wow, guy. so you will do anything? Yeah. Uh, well, whatever it, it, it takes. Seems, Josh. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Seems in, in my old age, I'm starting to not have quite the. <laughs> yeah. But there's nothing like that live. Oh, I, I mean, sometimes I miss out from theater or from dance, yeah. you know, that live performance yeah. and just that instant recognition and there's Absolutely. no take two and, and, and exactly. you have to make it and work. And that's something that I've missed for 30 years, you yeah. know, so yeah. I'm starting to get back into that now. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe I might start turning a corner here and start pursuing what I came mm-hmm. out here to originally yeah. do, do to begin with. You yeah, know? Well, before, before you were derailed into this <laughs> right. crazy into this, into this like voiceover thing. This uber successful yeah. voiceover um, career. Um, yes, right. I love it. Well, we would love Wouldn't to see you do more. Wouldn't it be something, man, if all of a sudden, bam, you know, you became like Brad Pitt? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angelina think, Jolie might be a little surprised. It could happen. But, yeah. It could happen. It could happen. Um, you oh my God, know. you'd have a lot more kids. Okay. Yeah, you'd have um, a lot more kids. Yeah, you'd be... Okay, so let's let's just wrap it up here, Mr. T. Uh-oh. Mr. T. Mr. T. <laughs> with, uh, with, uh, give me a number between 5 and 129. Uh, gonna, yeah, 113. We're going to put you on the spot oh, for a second. Bad. He's like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. No. Um, Am I going to read the phone book? No. no, 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 no. This is this is the if question book. Oh no! What if? if okay. If, if if you could go back to high school to relive one event exactly as it happened, what would you pick? Um. I, I uh, the only thing that comes to me is is uh, I as I said I went to. school college to study architecture I in one of my classes had to design a house draw the blueprints and actually build a model of it and the day that uh, we presented that uh, the the reaction that my house that I had designed and built got mm. was uh, like it was almost like theater for me it's almost like the applause <gasps> yeah. being on stage wow. just that recognition recognition of the of the of the the vision and the artistic you know endeavor mm. and the and the creativity and stuff that that was that was huge for me maybe you'll build that house someday well i would love to i would help yeah, cuz i still see it in my head you do i totally do wow yeah. can you just I mean, I never, it? and i never saved the blueprints or the model i mean i wish but i you just had have it in your mind's eye was it really modern or what was it like it, it actually was modern for, for the, the day time. in the yeah. early 70s you know it was um it yeah it was it was pretty crazy. Not wow. quite as crazy as Jess's house, but... <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody's house is as crazy yeah. as that. Right. Well, um, that's cool. Uh, yeah, but that's... That is really cool. So in between doing, a, sh- cool. doing plays, you can build your house. There you go. Love it. Get your little tool belt. Dude, I got to tell you something, man. You are a cool man. <laughs> you really, really are. <laughs> Chuck, we thanks. have had such a great time. We loved time having you. We're so glad it finally worked out. chatting with you, oh, meeting thanks. you. I have a feeling that we're going to become really great friends yeah. and do things together uh, because otherwise, you know, we're going to, like, come after you. Be upset. All yeah, right? Yeah. No, I'm just okay. kidding. And now um, you know where I live. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> thank you for coming down here, sharing yeah. with all of our fans yeah, all over the world. Thanks. And uh, Townsend Coleman, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the one, the only, and we want to see you. We're going to see you next week with another awesome episode. Hey there, Townsend Coleman. I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. We had a blast, talked about all kinds of things VO. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, that concludes our interview with the awesome Townsend Coleman. Yes. But we're going to be back next week with another cool episode just for you guys. So be here with us. Absolutely. And click that little button that says subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do it. It's so easy. Absolutely. And it's free. Right? Hello. Yes. And go to Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest and find us there at VO Buzz Weekly. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And just remember, you you always have time for a little buzz. buzz.